Hey Scorpio, welcome to your August 2017 Tarot Scope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you. I have pre-shuffled the cards and laid them out for you. So let's jump right in. At the bottom of the deck, in your overall energy for August, is the High Priestess. So now is the time to tap into your intuition. You really, really, really need to consider very carefully what you want right, before acting. This is about having a deep connection <clears throat> with yourself. Tapping into what works best for you on a soul level. Uh, sometimes it also represents secrets being revealed because she's very secretive. So we'll see how this plays into the overall reading. So the situation at hand is the Eight of Cups. And this definitely signifies the time to move on. Releasing what no longer serves you. Maybe you're thinking about that. You're reassessing. You want more meaning in your life. You want to grow spiritually and emotionally. And the High Priestess is here to, to assist you with that. Crossing you... <clears throat> is the Ace of Pentacles. And this is a solid new beginning. Pentacles represent material matters, money, possessions. So this could be a new home, a new job, a raise, a promotion. Even inheritance could be coming in. So that's very, very nice. Even though it's crossing you, I think it's, um, this is a, uh, what's helping you, not, not hindering you. At your foundation, you have balance. So this is what's led you to where you are now. So the balance and moderation has been working for you. Being patient, co cooperation and compromise. It also speaks to waiting for perfect timing, so you could be <clears throat> thinking about what your next move is. And not to jump ahead, but in the immediate future, you have the Seven of Cups, so there's definitely quite a few options for you coming down the road that you're considering. We'll get to that. So in your recent past, you have the King of Wands, right? Yeah, King of Wands. And this is the, um, the ultimate idea person, right? The King of Wands is extremely goal-orientated. He's a visionary. So you've been on the right path. This also can represent an offer coming in for you. So maybe in the recent past you've, um, yeah, received an offer and that's what you're considering. You may even have more than one with the Seven of Cups here. Crowning you is the Emperor. Yeah, and he he, <laughs> he doesn't play. This is some really, really incredible energy. I just wanted to show you the card. <coughs> He's the ultimate authority figure. Right? 
and he governs the area where you wish to enter. So this energy is coming in for you and I think it's being granted. You're asked also to um, make sure you know you're being disciplined and being a leader, assuming the leader role. So in your immediate future coming in again is the Seven of Cups. We talked about that a little earlier. <clears throat> and this card, it's kind of hard to see, but there are Seven Cups with all different gifts and gems coming out. Right. Uh, it can be a very confusing energy, though even though there is a level of inspiration here. Many ideas. Trying to make it happen. So the message here is to refocus. It could also represent taking a risk. So let's see if that's going to work out for you with the rest of the cards. It seems very, very positive. Um, just don't get overwhelmed. Maybe this emperor is an Aries or somebody coming into your life that can assist you right, with this decision-making process or some of the confusion. Yep, that's what I'm picking up on. This could be a boss or a father figure. Usually it's an older gentleman. So your power in this situation is the sun. Wow. This is the ultimate happy card. So you're very, very excited <clears throat> and happy about this offer. You're actually in the spotlight, Scorpio. So it's a time for celebration. This also helps to increase the positive energy when the sun appears in your reading. It's about divine timing, meant to be. So here's your divine timing. Right? Because you've been patient, you've been waiting, you've been balanced, right? Waiting for the perfect timing. Well, here's your confirmation. It's here. It's happening for you. Wow. This is great. I love it. Very, very nice. How others see you <clears throat> is the Ace of Swords. Oops, sorry, the glare. So <clears throat> these rewards obviously are coming in after maybe a challenging beginning. But this is your new beginning. And seeing the truth in a situation. So something's coming to light. Something's going down and you're finding out the truth. Way cool. I love it. So whatever's been going on behind the scenes or you've been kind of in the dark about, I mean, this could be, you know, just a personal quest or <clears throat> this could be about a job maybe or a career change. You gotta find out what's been going on, so to speak. It's your brand new beginning. Doors opening. It's also tied to your to your money. So you're being guided by the divine. <laughs> the 
This is fate. This is destiny. Sweet. Very nice. In your hopes and fears, you have the Five of Pentacles. So... You're fearful, concerned about money. You could feel like you've been out in the cold, or you don't want to be. Let's put it to you that way. Sorry, you don't want to. You don't want to make the wrong move. So your fear is like, oh, if I do this, maybe it's a mistake. You know. But that's, uh, change is hard, right? But you don't want to get caught up in this energy. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but try not to take life challenges too personal. Because the challenges are what leads us through life. You know, puts us on the right path as painful as it could be, as fearful as it can be. So something needs to be lost for something to be gained is the message here, the Five of Pentacles. So I would go with that. I'd drop the whole fear thing and money concerns. You need to be at home with yourself no matter where you are. Do, 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 do. The High Priestess. Wow. Very powerful reading. I love it. Very spiritual. Nice messages for you, Scorpio, this month. Your final outcome card is the Six of Pentacles. So you're getting what you deserve. You've been giving and giving and giving. And now it's your time to receive. This is the generosity card. And you're also in a very, very strong position to give to others if you had to. It's also a good time to ask for money. If you need money, the universe will provide it for you. Very nice. Very nice, Scorpio. Which is my sister sign, by the way. And my moon sign. Okay. Let's... Maybe we should clarify. Let's get a little bit more information. I was thinking about maybe clarifying um, some of your options here or whatever messages Spirit wants to bring in. Here, please clarify the reading for Scorpio. Please give us more information. These fell out, but they didn't flip out and turn over. So we we'll just stick them back in and keep shuffling. What are the messages for Scorpio for August 2017? What are the messages for Scorpio? Additional insight for Scorpio. August 2017. Uh, I need to think more time. Oh, hello! <laughs> the Emperor, again. I think it's somebody else's reading I called him Napoleon, but I believe he's Caesar. <laughs> anyway, in, in, at least in this photograph. Okay, people, this is a huge message here. We have the emperor twice. So you're definitely being called to be the emperor in this situation. 
you know, maybe because you've been emotionally trying to figure out what you want, you've been maybe a little passive about not embracing your gifts and abilities. Your earthly matters, you have money coming in, new opportunities, some emotion, you're walking away. Okay. Yeah, change. It can be scary. I mean, obviously, you're walking away from a situation that doesn't serve you anymore. So that that's being really brave. So any of you Scorpios out there doing what you need to do to be happy in your life, congratulations. It's not always easy. Um, but have faith and hope and trust in yourself. Keep moving forward. I mean, the cards speak for themselves. Faith and hope and trust and strength. The two of pentacles. So that's that decision. And I mean, you could be juggling a lot as well, but in reference to this reading, you're going to be able to make that decision. And this could be about a partnership, in business. represents cycles you know what comes up comes down and that and that's and that's life right almost like the wheel of fortune it keeps spinning so you feel like you're walking on a tightrope so stay balanced that that's another big message once again wow you have a lot of double messages here You can do it. You've done it before. It's in your foundation. Definitely need to stay strong. All right, let's just see if there's any other. Oh, this could represent two opportunities as well. So you'll know if this resonates with you. Scorpio, um, not, you know, that won't necessarily be for everybody, but I'm just trying to give some different meanings. General readings can be a little hard, but I mean, overall, your message is quite beautiful. Very spiritually uh, guided and blessed. So... Yeah, make sure you check out your moon and rising sign. I apologize, I've been a little behind in getting all the um, all the readings out all together at one time, but I don't want to keep people waiting, so I've posted like six or seven videos. So um, thank you for being patient. I think it's the 25th of July, so I'm, I'm still ahead of the game. <laughs> but uh, I always like to make sure they're out two weeks, you know, before the new month so people can kind of see, you know, looking ahead what's going on. Also wanted to share with you um, some um, astrology real quick. I won't, I won't be long. We are having two eclipses in the month of August and that, that's pretty powerful with a Mercury retrograde in between. So if you have a favorite astrologer, you may want to um, reach out and, you know, hear what they might have to say on YouTube. There's a lot of really great ones. Um, Kelly Rosano. I like her a lot. Um, Nadia Shaw. So definitely worth um, uh, checking it out. So the first eclipse, so it's eclipse season. And for two happening in a month, that's pretty powerful. It, um, it's going to create this surge of cleanse, you know, cleaning out and coming in maybe it might to me maybe that might be good because sometimes when we clean out the balance is in there so there's going to be um you know a lot of give and take and uh, for the in the month of august and you 
Oof, you definitely have a beautiful journey coming up here. But anyway, so the full moon lunar eclipse is on August 7th, so it's coming up here pretty quick. It's in the sign of Aquarius. For you, uh, Scorpio falls in your fourth house of home. So maybe you're going to eclipse out a home and move. Um, again, these uh, full moon eclipses represent like closure. This could be coming to some emotional close with the maternal figure in your life. You know? Um, eclipsing out old feelings or even relationships if they haven't been healthy, old emotions. So just just keep keep that in mind as well. I apologize, my dogs hear something, so they're going a little crazy. The second eclipse is a new moon solar eclipse in Leo on August 21st, and that falls for you in your 10th house of career. Woo wow, this energy is right on point. So the Seven Cups, this will bring you to maybe about halfway through the month, and you'll close out <clears throat> eclipsing in a new career, new title, could be a new promotion, new position in the company. I mean, you're not maybe necessarily, you know, leaving a job, but you could be promoted within. Whoa, this is so awesome. I love when it all resonates together. So Scorpio, you have a lot of power behind you for the month of August. It's really, really amazing. I would take advantage of that. That's why I love doing these readings. It gives everybody a heads up of kind of what to expect. Um, And the other interesting thing, that the 10th house also represents the paternal um, figures in your life. So that's dad, and you have mom in the 4th house. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be coming to terms with different issues about your parents. Because you got mom and dad going on here, so... Beautiful. Here's here's the that male energy too. So it's definitely all tied together. Remember, you had the emperor twice. There's no empress here, but I think eclipsing in the paternal male, either uh, father, is definitely going to be significant for you. For the month of August. Any other messages? Let me think. Um, you could be getting a new boss. <laughs> you know? Maybe the other guy was eclipsed out, you know, in his little astrological wheel. The changes are very amazing when there's true synchronicity and things are meant to be, and that's part of the life process. But <clears throat> You could be getting a new boss. It doesn't necessarily have to be a promotion or a change of career. It's definitely going to be a, a, a change in your career environment. All right, Scorpio. So that's it for August. I will be back uh, doing mid-month August. So that'd be great with the... I'm going to try and do those right before the um, the solar eclipse on August 21st kind of see what's going on with the energy and, and all that fun stuff. So I hope you have a great month. Please enjoy and stay focused and do some meditation and prayer and some inner reflection, and this will all work out for you. All right, Scorpio, take care. Bye-bye.